In this video, I'm going to show you how I built this AI closet that lets you virtually try on any clothes. I'm going to be inspired by this website, but we're going to make it way, way better because we're actually going to integrate it. So it's going to be one click to do both things. We're going to be using the chat GPT's new image generator for super high quality images, their API. And then I'm going to build a website that looks just like this. So in this video, when you're done with it, you've never seen no code before. You're going to have a complete project that's going to be using the image generator API. It's going to be able to take pictures and merge them together. And it's going to give you a final export of the image for whatever clothing you're trying. So we're going to name it first. I want to create a AI clothing generator that merges a picture of me and any type of article of clothing. And then it creates the final image of me, me wearing that outfit. Give me 10 title names and also a breakdown of how to make this app. Keep it simple for an MVP. All right, common language. Talk to ChatGPT first. Let's see what we got. Fit Swap, Wardo AI, Try On Me, done. Let's see if this is taken. I love this idea actually. Try On Me. Let's see what this does. Okay, so they're doing exactly the same thing. So we're not gonna obviously take their name. Snap Fit AI Closet. AI Closet's kind of funny like a nice double meaning. Okay, that looks like we're good to go. So let's run with AI Closet. And then it's gonna give us a full breakdown. So look at this. So user upload steps, input user uploads a photo of themselves, tasks, removes background, segments body, tool, clothing, input user selects clothing type, another picture, and then AI merges is the process. Okay, perfect. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna open up Lovable. If you guys aren't familiar, it's a no code tool that allows you to build anything just by using regular language. So here we go. I want to build a next.js project that's going to use the open AI API, which I'm gonna provide, AI Closet. The feature that we're building is going to be uploading images or taking photos of me wearing any outfit and then taking a picture or selecting images of clothes that I want to try on. Then that open AI image generator is going to merge the two together so I could put on the new outfit. And then it's going to render a final photo with me wearing the new outfit. Let's first start with the AI API integration and then we'll design the whole website. So let's just start making sure that we can do the image upload, taking photos, using the API to complete the process. So just like that, we're off and running. So I want to keep it simple. The main thing that you want to do with these tools is you don't want to just say build everything because it's going to go off and it's going to try to build this massive thing. We want to just start with the basics. Let's start with the functionality of taking images, merging them together and exporting an image. And then we could dress it up however we want. So that's kind of how I like to build things. Before, I would try to just say, build me a full website with all these features, but I feel like it's just too much. I wanna just focus on the core functionalities first to build it out, make sure it works. And like they say, you could then skin the pig. If this is your first time on my channel, I really, really do appreciate it. My name is Marcin AI. I am a no-code developer, and I have a fantastic community called the No-Code AI Army, where we're in here building, creating. It's 100% free for you guys. You guys could check out all the links below. We have now, 4,551 members, which is pretty insane to think. We got people in here building products, developing SaaS businesses, beginners all the way to full stack developers. So check that out below. You guys could get it 100% for free. Just a little selfless plug, but to help you guys on your journey, wherever that might be. And we're in there building a lot of fun stuff, including this and a ton of tutorials and all the other good stuff. And of course, if you guys try Lovable below, I appreciate it. Buys me a cup of coffee. I am always super, super grateful for that. Next, we're going to get the OpenAI API. So you guys could see here, go to platform.openai.com, sign up, and then you can just create a new key. So we're going to call this um, AI uh, Closet, or cl what was it, Closet AI? It's kind of a funny play on words, right? <laughs> closet AI, generate the key, copy that key, and then we're going to give that to Lovable when it asks for it. Oh, actually, it just asked for it. So let's see. Look at that. AI Closet virtually try on any AI. So we got our first picture, take a photo or upload a photo, upload clothing, and then it's gonna generate. So next we need to give it the API. Oh, actually, you know what? It already beat me to it. Look up here, set API key. We're gonna hit that. We're gonna paste that in there and hit save. So it already obviously built that in the back end. So we should be good to go. 
So why don't we just select the photo? Let me take one really quick. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll use myself. I think it'll be more fun that way. All right, so there's our picture. Oh, that looks terrible. There it is, boom. So now we're gonna go there, transfer that to our computer. And then next, we're gonna need a new clothes. So let's pull up a new shirt. Let's do a, you know, vibe code shirt. Okay, let's just find a random fun image. So we got vibe coding. There it is. We're gonna drag that over. Now we're gonna go to our project. Uh, wherever it is, here it is right here. So then we're gonna, the Apple file extension is hated by all these tools. So let's just resave it as a JPEG. I just have a gut feeling that that might be the problem. So before we start changing things up, let's just upload a better picture. That is a JPEG. All right, let's select our file. So there's a JPEG. Then we're gonna go here. We're gonna click our shirt. And then see how it rendered already? So I have a feeling that that's what it is. Um, we need to set our API key. I'll put it in the permanently in a second and let's see what we get. If this works, okay, so it didn't do it. Okay, next. Next, I want you to use the image generator from the API to merge the two photos together and change my shirt based on the image I uploaded. So image one is my source. Image two is the new new outfit. And then rendered image equals, um, hold on, image two, rendered image equals merging, swapping, swapping shirt. Okay, perfect. So just a little more context so it understands exactly what it's supposed to do. It has the API, but now it doesn't understand what exactly it wants to do. So we'll give it another shot here. And just like that, you guys are seeing how to build using APIs, how to do things inside this API. If we go in, you can actually see what the image generator can do. So image generator API, open AI. So I'm going to show you the different things it can do. We can do draw, we could create a bunch of different style of images. So it's called GPT image. So we can generate images as we're doing. We can create a new image using a reference. We could also edit an image using a mask. So in painting. So I did another video on this. You guys could actually paint out the logo and say swap this logo out. So we can definitely add that feature. And then you have different kind of outputs and all the different settings. So a couple of nice new features in Lovable that you guys could see up here. We actually have now a code view. So this is new that just came out with version two. You can actually come in here and change the code yourself if you know what you're doing. So for example, we could probably go into this API and take a look at what it's actually building. And then this way you'll be able to actually make changes. So like for example, here's our open API and we could go in and see what model it's actually using. So if you know what you're doing, this is great for developers, but it's also good just to see because if there's a weird error that you can't fix or you want to just change the title, you could just change it here. Also, one of the things that they just added, which I like a lot, is this edit mode. So if you click edit, you can now select any section. So check this out without using the actual editor, the agent. So virtual try on. Yeah, so you could change. See that right there? You could change the size, for example, of this button. You could go in and edit the text very, very easily. Makes it super, super simple. You upload image. Yeah, so before you would have to ask the agent for these little micro changes, which would just gobble up your credits. And now you can just do it very, very easily using this new tool. And then we just hit save. And just like that, we've updated our text. Now let's go back and make sure we have the correct, there it is marked as GTP4. Okay, so now let's try it. I still don't think it's using the correct one, but we're gonna try it really quick. Select the second image. And then we're gonna generate try an image. Let's see what happens fail to generate image. So if you guys ever run into this issue, make sure you right click and hit inspect. This is going to bring up your console. This is where you're going to see what the error is. So down here, there's an error. So we're going to take this error. It's something with the API. We're going to copy this text. We're going to give it to lovable and say, fix it. So this is one way for you to actually see what the problem is. And again, you just right click, go to inspect. So this would just save it and be very specific what the actual problem is. And then once we have this, we're pretty much done with what we were trying to do. And then we can obviously skin it, which I'll do. 
but you guys get the idea. You know, we're gonna make this look pretty. We can then add login authentications. We could then log in a Stripe payment, build that a landing page, and now you have a full product that you could actually launch and sell with a backend, which we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's literally one click integration. Very, very simple. These tools are getting very powerful. And I wanna just jump in and show you what the image generator can do and how you can go from something like a simple site that you saw, you're like, wow, this looks really cool, but it uses an old API. So now we're going to use a newest one and make it that much better. All right, let's give this a rip. So now we're gonna go here. We're gonna select our images, our final rendering, combine our image. And there it is guys. So now we have our final image. Everything is created, everything is working. So now the next thing what we're gonna do is we're just gonna tell it that we wanted to create a landing page for this using our best features, okay? So this will be our last prompt. Next, I want you to create a landing page for this application that showcases the best features. Give me all the navigation text, make it one single page landing page with a header, a footer, navigation, different sections, talk about what the product does. Make it super sleek, modern, and there we have it. So now we're gonna get a landing page for our website just to show you how quickly we can do this. And then the only thing left for this, if you really wanted to push this to production, is connecting your Superbase, which is one click here. You just give access to your project. I already have it connected. So you just go in here, select it, hit connect, and then Lovable can then create tables. It can then create edge functions to save these images in your server if you want to, and any other features you might wanna add. And bang, just like that, look at this, AI Closet, virtual try on a powered fashion. Free to try, learn more, powerful featured, instant virtual try on, how it works, upload your photo, super simple. We got some testimonials, frequently asked questions. This was done in 10 minutes. It then goes down. And of course, next thing is just setting up authentication, giving access to your users, and you are done with your project. Hope you guys enjoyed that. This was again, a quick demo just to show you the power of these tools, how you can integrate the new powerful Chad GPT image generator with any product, whatever you're building, and sky's the limit. You could do a dog generator, you could do a meme generator, you could use it for your um, builder. Builders can use it based off of like housing plans and then next thing they get a final rendering. Or I mean the sky's the limit, but the main purpose of this in this video is to show you how to actually set this up using Lovable and using the different APIs and how to actually set it up correctly with image upload. And of course, if you guys try anything below, I appreciate it so much. I'll see you in the community and of course, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.